In this video tutorial, we are solving the construction equation which came in 2017, paper 2, internal. And the construction question in this paper came as question number 3. The first part of this question says, construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 10 centimeters, angle ABC is equal to 20 degrees, and angle BAD is equal to 60 degrees. BC is equal to 7 centimeters and AD is equal to 11 centimeters. The B part of this question says measure and write the length of CD. Measure and write the length of CD. All right, let's go ahead and uh, answer. Let's construct that. So let's first of all begin by constructing a draft so that we know what we are looking for. So we've been asked to construct a quadrilateral. So my draft will not be very accurate, but it will just show us where we are going. All right, so construct a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. So have a shape with four sides in that way. And it should be labeled A, B, C, D. In which AB should be 10 centimeters. The line AB is 10 centimeters. The angle ABC, the angle ABC, this angle should be 120 degrees. And the angle BAD, the angle BAD should be 60 degrees. The line BC, BC should be 7 centimeters. And the line AD is 11 centimeters. So that is what we have. The line CD, we don't know the measurement. We've been asked to find what CD is. We have to measure and write that length. Okay, so that's a quick draft which we'll start with. Let's go ahead and try to construct our ruler here. We start there with our 10 centimeters of AB. AB is 10 centimeters. That's AB and it's 10 centimeters. All right, we go to the angle. Or maybe before we, we, we put up the angle, let's, let's indicate our seven centimeter and our 11. We can indicate them in advance. So B, C, C should be formed somewhere there. So that's seven centimeters. Seven centimeters. That's seven centimeters. So just draw this, we don't know exactly where. So just do that. But we know that from B to any point of that arc, it's going to be 7 centimeters. Alright, so having drawn our 7 centimeters arc, let's measure the angle, the angle A, B, C. The angle A, B, C. So the angle A, B, C is... Is 120. So you start your measurements from there and find 120. So 120 is somewhere there. And let's connect to the arc. Okay. 
to show this is 120 that's 120 and now let's measure our 11 centimeters so we do that let's just confirm yep that's 11 centimeters so i'm now going to indicate 11 centimeter centimeter should be somewhere there okay that's our 11 centimeter so from a to any point of that to any part of that arc that's 11 centimeters however let's measure our sixty first sixty sixty degrees So we use the the inner measurement for this part. Alright, so 60 is somewhere there. Alright, we connect the point A first to the point for 60 which we measured with and touching the arc. And we say this is our 60 degrees. Okay, so having done that, where that line has met with the arc and where the 7 centimeter line has met with its arc, we connect the two. So A, B, C, D. Wonderful. So we know that this is seven centimeters. This is eleven centimeters. This we we don't know, but we've constructed it so we can measure it so that we know. One all the way to eight point five. Point six point seven. That's our eight point seven centimeters. So we in indicate that CD is equal to eight point seven centimeters. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope you are following. I hope you are following. I think we are done with answering. 3a and 3b now let's answer 3c 3c says within the quadrilateral a b c d so within this quadrilateral a b c d draw the locus of points which are one eight centimeters from a and two if we distant from b c and c d so looking at our our draft there uh, let's just indicate what they are asking us they are saying we should draw a locus of point which is eight centimeters from a eight centimeters from a it should be something like this and the distance from a to that should be eight centimeters And the second part of C there says if we distance from B, C, and C, D. B, C, and C, D. If we distance from B, C, and C, D, it means C, you know, C is the common, the common factor. So we are going to draw a line coming from C, dividing C and D in that way. So that is what we are going to do here. And once we draw this locus and that one, would have answered the whole of question 3c so let's just do that okay um the first one says eight centimeters from a so measure let's measure our eight centimeters that's eight okay eight centimeters that's our eight centimeters this is your paper you can move it 
in any way that you deem it fit, where you can use it, where you can properly construct. Okay, so that is done. So you just indicate by showing that um, from there all the way to there that is eight centimeters the second part is uh, the locus of points is equidistant from b c and c d which will cut across there so for that one let's reduce our compass to just a small yeah, just a small size and let's stand on c stand on c and do that and that on the other side enlarge it slightly stand on the first a small arc you did and do something like that stand on this other one and do the same So where the two arcs, this one you did and that one have crossed, you connect that part to C. You connect that part to C. Um, so you stand on your C there and you do something like that. Wonderful. Yeah, our, our diagram is coming up well. Okay. Uh, having done that, you would have answered the C part completely. We've answered the C part completely. Let's now go to 3D. Uh, 3D says a point P within the quadrilateral A, B, C, D is such that it is 8 centimeters from A and equidistant from B, C, and C, D. Label point P. So this point we are looking for has two conditions to be satisfied. The first condition is that it should be 8 centimeters from A. So that's our A. 8 centimeters is along this arc. So what this means is that the point P should be somewhere on this line, this arc. And the second condition is that it has to be equidistant from BC and CD. So the equidistance of BC and CD is this line. So it means that the point P should also be on this line. So your answer should just be where this arc and this line are meeting and it's at that point. So that point is the P that we have been asked to find. So you indicate it in that way. Let's answer question 3E and we are done with this question. E says, another point Q within the quadrilateral ABCD is such that it is nearer to CD than BC and greater than or equal to 8 centimeters from A. Indicate by shading the region in which Q must lie. So there's another point uh, named Q, which is within this same quadrilateral. There's another point Q in this quadrilateral, which is such that it is nearer to CD. So it is nearer to CD, meaning um, it is on top there, on top of this line that we drew there. It's on top of this line. It's nearer to that than this. So the area we are looking at is the above area now. The above area, I ignore the, the down part. We're looking at the above area. That's the first condition. It should be above, meaning nearer to CD. And it should be greater than or equal to 8 centimeters from A. It should be greater than, so 8 centimeters from 8 ending here, coming down. So if it's going to be greater, it means it should be this.
B should be the point Q. If you do that, you would have answered correctly this construction question which came in 2017 internal paper.